Hey, friend. Hello. Like the new blender? Is that what that is? This is our new blender. Did someone got a new toy? Yeah, we did. We, our old blender, it broke. It's upstaging me. Yeah, well, why don't you get on the other side? Okay. Not on this side. Why? But there's two sides to this blender. I know I was on this side and now on this side. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. <laughs> okay. There you go. Got it. All right, so we, uh, our old blender broke, and we got a brand new blender, Ooh. and I was a... Uh, I'm sorry your old blender broke. Uh, well, it's okay. It Did was, I do it? No, 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 no. It just, it just, it was its time to go, so we, oh. we have a bland, brand new blender, Ooh. and today's pretty hot for a February. Yeah. Yeah. 70 it, degrees. 70 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, which is... It snowed the other day, did you know that? And it's going to snow tomorrow, too. That's the funniest thing I have ever heard. So I thought we would take advantage of both the new blender and the fact that it is really warm outside and we are going to make a cool refreshing drink Ooh! and this drink it has been inspired by another youtuber Ooh. his name is uh, James and he runs a channel called fun foods fun foods yep and James has made a lot of uh, different kind of treats with the exact same ingredient and so we are going to use that ingredient in a way that he hasn't yet what's the ingredient you'll find out in just a minute okay stay tuned So what's the secret ingredient? Okay, so James at Fun Foods, and I will leave a link to his channel down below, and I will also uh, leave a card up above. Uh, he makes a lot of different treats with Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew? He loves Mountain Dew. That's a soft drink. It is a soft drink. It's a soft drink with a lemon-lime flavor, um, and it's also... Sweet. It's, it's very sweet. Tart. Yeah, it's a, I don't know if it's so tart as sweet, but we're going to use this Mountain Dew in what is called a uh, sherbet cooler. Sherbet cooler? Yep, it's also known as a cream freeze. Cream freeze? Yep, and so we, I thought that it would be uh, really great to use the flavor of Mountain Dew in this because normally you make it with something like Sprite or um, or seltzer water that has no flavor and then you just use the flavor. But we want flavor! We want flavor, so we are flavor. going to, yep. So this is going to have a real lemony lime flavor um, and it's a perfect treat for a nice warm day and we gotta do it fast because it's not gonna be a warm day for long. No, it's gonna snow tomorrow, you said. So we are going to start off with about a a cup to a cup and a half of Mountain Dew. Okay, let's put that right in. Oh, look at that, we're doing it all in one take, folks. <laughs> no bloopers, I hope. Our next ingredient. I thought we were gonna do it all in one take. You know, sometimes we make a little bit of a mistake here and there. Okay. Okay, so we give, we give ourselves a little bit of room. Here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leeway. A little leeway. A little leeway. Our next ingredient is this lemon sorbet. Okay. Now, normally I would use sherbet, but because it's not summertime, I couldn't find any lemon lime sherbet. If you can find lemon lime sherbet, you can use that. You can also use whatever other flavor of sherbet you want. Sorbet is just like sherbet, except it uses fruit juice um, instead of flavoring, and then it also uses uh, no cream. Cream. So no we're cream. going. Yep, which we will make up for in a minute. So we're oh. going to use about two to three scoops of this lemon sorbet. Fred, why do you have your ear against that? I'm listening to it fizz. Yeah, well, that's one of the things that's different. Oh, I, I hear clicks on every time I move my mouth. I think that's your eye. Ooh. <laughs> so uh, the difference between a cooler like this and a milkshake is that we are using a carbonated beverage. That gives it a real lightness to it and it also adds those fizzy bubbles. Um, so to this uh, sorbet and Mountain Dew, we are going to add just a splash of cream. A splash? Yeah, probably. How much is a splash? Probably a little bit less than a quarter cup. Oh. So let's just pour that right in. More fizzy. You're gonna get a lot of fizzing with this. And now all we have to do is blend it. Oh, I thought I was just gonna drink it from the, from the, from the blender. <laughs> Are you okay oh, there, Fred? Oh, no, I'm just a little bit dizzy. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, no, no, I'll be fine. Okay. You're gonna be okay? Okay. Uh, okay. Ah! Wow. <laughs> Well, if you don't get dizzy by watching the blender go round and round, then you can enjoy this really refreshing... Oh, here he comes back. You okay, Fred? <sighs> Much better. This is a very refreshing. It's dangerous. It's not dangerous. It's refreshing. Oh. This is a wonderful drink. Now, if you wanted to make this a little bit more green, you could add in a little bit of green food coloring. I don't think it needs it, but if you really wanted to uh, make sure that anybody who was drinking it knew that it was Mountain Dew flavored, you could absolutely do that. It has a great fizz from the Mountain Dew, a great tang from the lemon, and a great creaminess 
from the cream. Mmm. Oh, oh, ice cream headache. Ice cream headache. Well, don't drink ice cream too fast. Headache. I'm sorry. Oh, oh. Who says this isn't dangerous? This is delicious. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm just, just, just getting over the way, the brain freeze. <laughs> well, <gasps> if you want to make sure to. <gasps> <laughs> if you want to make sure to avoid an ice cream headache, don't drink it too fast. But did, overall, did you enjoy making this Mountain Dew cream freeze with us? Brain freeze and dizziness notwithstanding? Yeah. Sure! Yeah! So I really want to thank James for his fantastic channel, Fun Foods. It's thank really... you for making it so dangerous for me, James! <laughs> it's, uh, it's a wonderful channel. Definitely check him out. He makes all sorts of things with Mountain Dew and all sorts of other treats as well. Um, what can people do if they enjoyed this video? Well, they could, they could, they could share. You could share this video uh, if you post it on social media, put it on Facebook, on Twitter, or just tell your friends about our channel. It really helps us out. What else? They could subscribe. If you subscribe, you will get informed every time we post a new video. We make a new three ingredient recipe every Thursday, and there are a couple of other interesting people on our channel. There's um, a lot more than that. Yeah, there's a lot more people. We've got uh, Georgia Dog, who talk about self-esteem on Sundays, and we have Sullivan Spaniel, who's really trying to become YouTube famous, and he's Will he Wednesday. ever succeed, folks? Uh, outcome is not very promising. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, so thank you so much for joining us this time. We will see you again next Thursday for another three ingredient recipe. Bye bye. Bye bye. If you want it to look a little bit more like Mountain Dew, you can add a little bit of green food coloring. But I think it's great all on its own, and uh, I know I don't need something to look green in order to taste delicious. What do you think? The water level is not going down. <laughs> now I have to do it all over again. <laughs> you could have just went with it. I know, but that's not. <laughs>